Hey guys, so today um, I did my first support group, which was exciting and nerve wracking. Uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> I knew it was coming um, for the past couple days and um, I've been feeling really excited about it, but like even last night I was telling my husband, I said, you know, I'm really excited about it, but I'm also really scared and I feel very emotional. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna be. I don't know if I can do this. And he was like, ah, oh, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, you know. I'm like, yeah, you're right, I'm sure I will be. But, so, anyway, today, you know, I knew it was coming and everything, and um, I felt fine all day, all day, I felt great. And then all of a sudden, I looked at the clock, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's 5.05. It starts at 6. And I could feel a little bit of nerves coming on, but it wasn't too bad. You know, and I'm sitting here doing my little diamond project that I'll show you in a minute that my mother-in-law got for her and I to help pass some time by. Um, so I was, my mind was staying occupied, so I'm like, all right, I got this, I'm gonna be good, you know. Well then, it's six o'clock. Well no, just before six. It was like 20 of probably, huh? You think 20 of? Yeah, about that. And I was like, oh my gosh, I should probably look presentable. Like, I need to do a little bit of makeup. <laughs> so, <laughs> because of radiation, I thought that I wasn't supposed to wear makeup to radiation. So I haven't been wearing it like all week. I haven't been doing my lotion on my face or anything. So I'm like, oh my gosh, my skin's starting to go crazy. So I mentioned it to them yesterday when I had my meeting with them. And they're like, no, Goofy, you just can't put lotions on that area. You can put lotion on your face and you can wear makeup. Like you can even wear makeup when you come for your treatment. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So still though, this morning I decided to opt out of it because I knew I was gonna come home and I wanted to shower afterwards um, because how I knew that people were gonna be coming here because it was um, held at the place that I'm staying at, so, um, so yeah, I got, came home, you know, showered and all that stuff and got ready. I just didn't do my makeup. I was like, I'll do that later on. So anyway, so I'm in the process of doing my makeup, right? And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, I need my anxiety medicine. So I had, my mother-in-law got me my anxiety medicine. <laughs> And then I'm finishing, I'm like, oh my goodness. I didn't size my eyelashes. <laughs> so I'm freaking out about my eyelashes, you know, because if you have anxiety, you can probably relate. And so I was like, ooh, what am I gonna do? Anyway, so luckily I got her an eyelash kit to teach her how to do them because she's interested in trying it out too. And so she had little clippers and you know scissors in there so she brought them to me and I was like okay okay so <laughs> anyway I was trying to breathe and let my my um anxiety medicine kick in and then you hear ding dong hey people start coming in oh my lord yep okay breathe crystal breathe and then you know, I'm starting to feel a little bit better again. Ding dong! Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do it. And so I'm just trying to keep breathing. I'm, I'm done getting myself ready now. So then I'm, you know, freshening up her hair for her. So I'm curling her hair and I'm like... <sighs> curling away. Oh, so then we're ready, right? And you hear more people down there and everything, and... Huh? And you try to bail. <laughs> yes, I tried to bail. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, I tried to bail. I looked at her and I said, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. She said, what do you mean? I said, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you can. 
No, no, I don't know if I can. She's like, let's try. We'll do it together. And I was like, okay, okay. Well, we start walking to the bedroom door and I kind of, <laughs> she's like, what? I says, I can't do this. I need a little bit more time. Let me breathe. So, I'm trying to hold back tears. You can do this. This is ridiculous. You're fine. You're fine. I get overwhelmed when I meet new people, especially right now because I knew that we were going to be talking about things and I haven't met people my age that are going through th this same type of situation. So yeah, I share my story and everything. And when I'm at MD Anderson, I'm like, you know, hey, how you doing, y'all? Yeah. Cause I'm comfortable there now. <laughs> well, I haven't met anybody here. So anyway, yes, I, I have anxiety issues. <laughs> so anyway, I get my, catch my breath and okay, all right, let's do this. If I'm gonna try it, let's. Just let's go. Let's try it now. She says, you sure? And I said, yep, let's go. Mm -hmm. We start walking down the stairs. And my knees start shaking. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like gripping onto the handle, walking down the railing. And I says, my legs are shaking. I'm shaking. I can't do this. I can't do this. And I'm just keep not walking, keep not walking. And then all of a sudden, ding dong. <laughs> right when I got to the bottom of the stairs. Yes. And then I see somebody walking in and I'm just like, who knows what they thought about me. <laughs> if I walked into a house and saw somebody just frozen there, gripping onto a the reeling of the stairs and just like that's why it's called forest <laughs> <laughs> a blank stare yes she spelled for us <laughs> I mean the poor guy's asking a question and I'm like <laughs> frozen. <laughs> I'm just frozen mm. I'm like I have anxiety right now I can't even talk I'm trying to control myself mm. <laughs> Normally I can help you. Normally I'd be a great right now, but I can't. I'm frozen. So anyway, I tried to sneak away and go back upstairs, but she got me around the corner. So then I'm trying to tell myself, you're good, you're good, you're gonna be okay, you're fine. Everybody's in there, the mingling, you know, so I'm, hi. As I'm, I don't stop, okay? I just keep walking. Hi, hi. And I bolt past everybody. And I, and luckily she followed me. And I said, uh, I can't do it. And my eyes just started watering and I started like kind of shaking and I could feel myself getting all red and Yes, I started crying. So I hid in the little corner where nobody could see me. And I started streaming. And then she went and got the lady um, who rents the, the house out and explained what was going on. And she came over and she's so amazing, guys. Oh my Lord. She's seriously just a godsend. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, she just came over and talked to me, gave me a hug, um, let me know that I'm not the first person that this has happened to, which really made me feel relieved because um, I felt pretty stupid. <laughs> and there was a room close by because I was trying to figure out how I could sneak through them to get back upstairs. And um, there was a room close by that nobody's in at the moment. So she asked me if I would like to go in there and try to just gather myself. 
yes please and but the bottom dollar I was trying to get in there as quick as I can before people saw me you know and I don't want people see me breaking down crying <laughs> but anyway so I sat in there for a little bit felt better and she, she came back in again and talked to me some and um, my mother-in-law stayed in there with me and talked and stuff too so that was great um, so long story short on that um, she had it so that I would be able to sit at a, a smaller group of table um, just so that I could kind of ease into it and stuff like that which was awesome and she actually sat there with us um, and there was a few other people there too so it was good you know it took me a little bit I was quiet and I started talking and everything so and then um, <laughs> We're all done eating dinner, and it's time to chat, you know? And then I'm like, okay, all right, you know, I got this, it's, it's good, you know, to have my mother-in-law with me. Well, I'm good, I'm good. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so we have a large group that has showed up today, so we're gonna split it up. Caretakers will be upstairs, and the uh, patients are going to be downstairs. <laughs> oh, what? We both panicked. <laughs> well, yes, we both panicked. Because she was panicking for me. Yes. <laughs> uh huh. So I didn't say that out loud, but in my head, I. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure if anybody was looking <laughs> at me, <laughs> they saw my face. <laughs> so, excuse me, hiccup. Anyway, um. It was fine. They went upstairs. We all stayed downstairs and, you know, got in a little circle, whatever. I came upstairs to get a sweater because I was cold. And, but right now I have my cool blanket that they gave me. I love it. It's super cute. So anyway, um, and then I went back down there, got in the group and then they wanted to go around, you know, we all say our names, say, uh, what type of cancer we have and like a little bit about our treatment and where we're at and then share our new year's resolutions okay so we were going around the circle and people are going closer it's getting to me i'm like <gasps> i can feel my body starting to get hot and everything i was like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my gosh well it was finally my turn <laughs> and then i said Hi, I'm Crystal. I have anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. People are sleeping, I gotta be quiet. Mm -hmm. Um so forgot it's for me. <laughs> I can't stop laughing about it now because it's funny, but at the time I was not laughing. No. But anyway, I got through it. I told a little bit about Everybody myself. Was like, yeah, we have anxiety too. Yeah, so other people said, yeah, we do too, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So anyway, to kind of wrap this up so that it's not, you know, too long. It's okay if you have anxiety. It's okay to be scared. Um, honestly, just... Don't, don't walk away from it. Don't give up. Like, you're not the only one feeling that way. Um, I am extremely, extremely happy that I stayed and proud of myself for staying. And I am thankful for my mother-in-law and the lady, the hostess of this place. I am grateful for both of them for taking the time to sit with me and talk to me and encourage me to not give in and to get out there and try, you know, because it was just so amazing to actually really meet people that are going through 
not even not necessarily the same type of cancer but going through cancer going through treatments going through something in life battling for their life it's to share stories share experiences and i mean i laughed i laughed a lot and i felt sad at times a lot but it was great to hear other people sharing their experiences and to be able to relate that is huge like just to know that you're not alone and i mean like one of the one of the people said i mean you could talk about poop and pee and it's okay because we get it like we all get it and it's so true it is so so true um talking about how chemo can change the taste of the way things taste you know like hey did you experience it did you you know yeah oh my gosh like just a lot a lot of things and it's amazing if you can get to a support group I highly highly recommend it um, I'm sad that I don't live closer but I am going to try my best because I mean I don't live too too far away I mean I'll be driving home at night time so Hopefully I can get my husband to come or something like that, you know, um, then be able to come back because I would like to, because I know that all in all, it's going to help me a lot and be amazing for me and it will be amazing for you. And even if you're not the person going through it, if you're the caregiver or a relative or something and you're able to go with them, go, go. Because, yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. It was amazing it for her, too. Sense. Like, it, it's great. If you guys can make it to a support group, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And if you're scared and have anxiety like me, just be strong and muster through it. Because I promise you, it's going to be so worth it. So, so worth it. So, that being said, I'm going to close it on that for tonight with this video. And as always, I thank you all for your support and your prayers. And I wish you all well. And I hope that you are having a fabulous day. And stay strong. Don't give up. Remember to focus on the positive things around you, positive things in life. Um, keep yourself busy because being busy and doing things that you enjoy when you can helps a lot. It helps so much. Oh, my little project that we're doing. Let me show you real quick. I don't know how to turn this around, so I'm just going to turn the phone around. Right now, um, we brought it back into the room. We had it set up on a table, but since people were coming and stuff, we wanted to kind of clean it up. So we brought it into our room and this is how I'm doing it for now. <laughs> but it's going to be really cool. You can't really see it much, but okay. So it's a diamond picture. It's actually this right here. Um, it's probably backwards. I don't know if it is or not, but it's DIY diamond painting kit. And you take this stick and you put it into this wax thing and then you put the diamonds and let's see it's all you have different things and you pick it up with this and you put it down where it goes and then it makes a beautiful picture and I thought actually we both thought it was gonna be like extremely ridiculous and lame but honestly we're both addicted to it now it is actually really cool and it's great to keep your mind occupied um, and just it's relaxing and it's jo it's it's joyful mm -hmm. so yeah 
Um, but what? To find something like this to do. Yeah, find something like this to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, um, thank you again for your support and for tuning in. And if you have any questions at any time, I am here to try to help you the best that I can. Um, my whole point in sharing my story with you is to try to help you hopefully get you or somebody that you know to um, get through whatever it is that you're going through at your time in life right now too. So have a good night and thank you for tuning in to Delicate Diamond. God bless and good night.